I'm Marcel Fontenot and this is a look at headlines from the KTC newsroom for this Wednesday, January 19th. It's day two of the search for a man police believe shot two women in Iberia Parish. Police continue looking for the man wanted for shooting the women. They say it happened Friday night on Mississippi Street. Leroy Linwood Jr. is wanted for two counts of attempted first degree murder. One of the victims is still in the hospital. If you know where Linwood is, you're asked to call Iberia Crime Stoppers. A rare drug resistant fungus has been detected here in Louisiana. A hospital in New Orleans says it's identified two patients infected with Canada aureus. It's a harmful form of yeast that can be resistant to most antifungal drugs. The CDC considers it an emerging global threat. The agency also says the fungus is especially dangerous to patients with serious medical problems. A grant program called Art Spark is accepting applications from artists in Acadiana. It aims to support these artists, especially for those with limited opportunities. Grants from one to five thousand dollars are available. The money can be used to expand their work or to offer new community engagements. The deadline to apply is February 28th. In St. Martin Parish, a Bible reading marathon now underway. It started this afternoon and will continue nonstop through Sunday. In all, it will take 100 hours to read the Bible cover to cover. It's happening outside of St. Martin de Tours Catholic Church in St. Martinville. Well, I hope that they got touched by what they see today and uh, knowing that this is going on for three days, reading the entire Bible, I hope they're touched and they will pick up their Bible and maybe come back to church. And turning now to weather, Rob, a stormy night in store for Acadiana. Yeah, that's the way it's shaping up. Rain and storms on the way. It looks like pretty heavy duty showers and thunderstorms. Maybe some strong storms that produce gusty winds, perhaps some small hail as we go through the overnight hours. We're going to get a good soaking too. It looks like an inch or two of rain with this system as it pushes on through through the wee morning hours of Thursday. Then we go into Thursday. We, again, we see that front pushing on through, getting out of here by the morning. Windy and much colder behind this front with temperatures holding in the 30s. Wind chills in the 20s. Then a little bit more interesting tomorrow night with a little light precipitation developing. Could see some sleet pellets, maybe a little freezing rain in spots, but we're not looking at any kind of winter weather event here in Acadiana. Clouds stay locked in. Temperatures stay quite chilly with readings during the day, mostly in the 40s for our uh, 30s rather for our Thursday and Friday for the bulk of the days. And overnight lows going below freezing three nights in a row. And could see a hard freeze for portions of Acadiana Friday night, Saturday morning, then again Saturday night into Sunday morning and look at that 10 day forecast the coldest stretch of winter weather we've seen all winter long and it'll be with us for at least a week and probably a little bit more than that uh, that's it right now for news and weather we'll have more in another segment so stay tuned